We are now on the fifth plague, almost halfway through the ten plagues. Exodus chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go and still hold them, behold, the hand of the Lord will be on your cattle, in the field, on the horses, on the donkeys, on the camels, on the oxen, and on the sheep, a very severe pestilence. God is patient with Pharaoh. Although Pharaoh is stubborn and resistant, God is patient with him. And God never changes his position. He just keeps saying what he's been saying all along. Let my people go. And that is something we must learn about the Lord, that he will constantly demand what he demands. And he would work with us until we come to the place of accepting his will. And that's what he's doing for Pharaoh. He's patient with him. He's accommodating with him. Because God is not willing that anyone should perish. His desire is that all should come to repentance. And for us, he's still very patient. And that's why he bears with us our wrongs and our sins and our evil. Not because he accepts them, but because he wants us to come to the place of repentance. And that's what he's doing with Pharaoh. But he stays where he is and seeks Pharaoh's repentance. And so he warns Pharaoh about a coming plague. This is the fifth one. And he says it's going to be very severe. And there's a couple of things I want you to note about uh, this passage. First is that God describes himself as the God of the Hebrews. The word Hebrew means a wanderer or a stranger. You know, God called Abraham uh, out of his family. And Abraham was a wanderer. He kept moving from place to place looking for the place that God has appointed him for. And so his descendants were called Hebrews, wanderers. They had no certain place. They were dispossessed people, but God still loved them. And that shows you the heart of God towards people who are strangers, who do not have any property, who do not have much, but they are still God's people and his eye is on them. And for us Christians, we are also like the Hebrews. We are pilgrims here on earth. This world is not our home. We are passing through and we must live our life as people who are headed somewhere, not as if everything here is all that we're going to have. We are pilgrims here on earth. We are also Hebrews and we are God's people, strangers passing through and living our lives to please God. The second thing I want you to note is the phrase, the hand of God. Now, this is the first time in the sequence of events that have been happening in the plague that God says, I will stretch my hand. Remember, in previous plagues, Aaron would be the one who would stretch out his hand with a rod and then a plague will start. But God says this time, I'm going to stretch out my hand. So it's getting severer. Uh, it's getting more intense. God is getting more involved in what is happening and everything is escalating. This is what he said from the beginning. Pharaoh will be stubborn, but I will escalate my actions. And this time, the action is going to be on the livestock of Egypt. And we're going to learn why it is the livestock that is under attack tomorrow. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father. You are the defender of the defenseless. Content for your people against wickedness. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll be with you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.